G'day, this is Captain Noob, and welcome back to XCOM 2, modded Iron Man Legend. Now, this is Operation Manic Engine. We've got to raid the Advent Train. Very difficult mission. We will have the assassin, not the assassin, the, the hunter. The hunter shows up because we revealed him just before the end of last part, and the game's giving us something to introduce him a little bit. And it's a supply train raid, so we'll have no timer, and there's going to be no fog of war thanks to the location scout sit rep. Bring along Muncher, Death Knell Huntsman, Devastator Barrage and Power Raid, and I've just grabbed Combat Protocol on Muncher because uh, he had eight points, so that only took two out of the pool there. We've also got Repair on Barrage here, so if he does take damage, we can be still aggressive because we can quickly repair what damage has been done. Double Skirmishes, this should be pretty interesting. The way I want to deal with this is just like sort of hang back, don't be super aggressive, and don't overextend ourselves. We'll take it one pod at a time. We'll have a good ambush at first, so if we happen to get a big one, well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? And we've got a couple of things that are researched and ready to produce, like the heavy cannons. Ooh, there's gonna be turrets around. I hear him. Menace one five. Coordinates of the advent train are locked in. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. Commander, we managed to access an old reconnaissance satellite passing over the AO. We've got a complete picture of the area. There shouldn't be any surprises on this one. All right, elite priest, elite trooper, two turrets, a specter, and a sectoid. Codex Archon and really is that it? For a very difficult mission, this is certainly feeling a little bit more manageable now. Okay, so the biggest pod here is uh, two Vipers and a Codex, which we should be okay with as long as we don't aggro everything all at once. So yeah, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. We'll probably like sit around and pick off these turrets whilst we can. We can't use um, Bombard here to immediately delete it because I don't think we've actually got um wait a second can i put this anywhere because of no fog of war because that's interesting it'll break our concealment so tactically it's a wrong decision but that's interesting there's a little bit of a synergy there unless like you click on it and it says it's you know let it go there which i'm not going to test because uh i'd rather keep it all right, so let's move forward. Um, we'll try to pick off these two first, and then we'll get to the turrets. We don't actually have a... Uh... Oh, we could go right under here. The turrets won't even see us, but let's just... Uh... Let's just blue move this. No need to rush. Again, we've got no timer here. I'm really hoping to pull off a flawless mission, because we've been working pretty hard to... Um... How should I put it? been working pretty hard over the past couple of parts because we've got a bunch of people who are super tired we've got a, a high amount of characters that are shaken as well so you know hoping for a nice easy run here that would be absolutely brilliant and when we break concealment here we'll probably find that we're getting some sort of uh, action with the hunter. Now, all of these guys are squishy. If there was an Andromeda, I'd be a little bit more worried, but I think they're sort of manageable, especially since we can bait the Codex into killing itself with feedback. That's even better. These two, I've got blue screens and the Sectoid at 10 health is fairly manageable by today's standards. Archon is a little bit harder, but he doesn't have all those points of armor, and is susceptible to flame damage and such. We could just immediately kick this off. I mean, why not? Like, we're not in the best position here. But... Uh, you know what? I'm actually feeling pretty good. Um... See what shot Jado has on the turret. We'll be able to have three shots with Savage here, so that's fine. So let's just bring this uh, this guy over. I mean, maybe. We'll see how we go. Oh yeah, got him. 
spotted flanked enemy and does that mean you get a move or what yeah he is okay and we get the retribution on him because he moves again so yes even better although that was not a guarantee Tarot was like, oi mate, saw that. And we've still got an extra action here with Deathna, which we might use to... Well, actually, we've got combat presence here, so we might be able to just overdrive Savage and just go on a massive killing spree. No scratching the robot this time. Right, shooting at a guy in full cover, probably not going to cut it. However... I'm fairly confident that we can kill this trooper. And then I think I'll take the last shot on the turret. Nice. Feeling pretty happy about that. And now we can start shredding this thing. We've got the blue screens on Jado, so that'll definitely be the next move here. Pretty good. We'll shred the last of its armor. Feels pretty good. And we can totally just uh, hail a bullets this guy if we want. Could shoot it with uh, Caleb here. May as well. Get him some experience. I don't think I brought along Shadow Keeper. So a little bit of a tactical error there. We'll have a flank on this fella. He might sustain, which I don't think he'll be able to do much with. Yeah. I mean, realistically, what could he do that is going to be so terrifying? Alright, Hunter's here. Better be careful. You see the sniper he's carrying? That's called Darklands, and I want it. I want it now. Okay, a couple of things. He's bewildered, so if we just, you know, stack a bunch of attacks on him, he'll just take even more damage, which is awesome. Immune to melee, so Kazi won't be able to do too well, thus, you know, except for, you know, doing stuff like, uh, inverting shadow steps, so using an Overwatch ambush to get him is not going to be working, and he can decrease the will of soldiers, so they'll get tired quicker and can summon troopers. We haven't brought a Reaper along to do more um, damage to him, but... It's dangerous out here. Might consider that when we go and raid his stronghold eventually. So he'll just sort of sit back and try to utilize his sniper rifle. Now what's he going to do? He's going to stasis. I mean, he had, a, he had a flank shot. Oh, he's going to mind control. Well, there you go. Question R is, are they going to come in view here? Mm, nope. See, since we've got the no, um, no fog of war sit rep, we've got to watch them do their turns. Which is good, because, you know, you want to keep tabs on where they are. Oh, Archon coming in hot. The most dangerous game? Hardly. Alright, so Mantra is actually on Overwatch here, which is a pretty good move. Now, does he have covering fire? Maybe. Just shoot him. Well done. If he had covering fire there and he managed to hit <laughs> there with the repeater... Priest is sometimes clever like that. I mean, he still should have probably just taken a shot to deal a little bit of damage and knock one of my soldiers out for a bit. But that's up to you. I'm going to sit here. And we might get to have an overwash ambush against these chumps. Mm, not really. So they're coming back. I'm guessing the Archon will go on his merry way. Um, keep coming towards us. We'll put uh, us and the train 
um, in front of them, so we don't have to, you know, fight them at the same time. Now, what he'll do when you've actually got enemies around to see you, kind of like squad side, is he'll just start tracking you. But since he doesn't know where you are, he's just going to vibe for a bit. Now, I'm probably probably mad for giving up this opportunity as a, at a bombard here, I think. Oh, can I not actually see them? I guess that answers that question. Let's get in nice and close then. I'm compelled to agree. I reckon we can take a bunch of vipers and a codex. The turret might be a little bit more of a problem. Weirdly, the bombard doesn't shred. I guess it's just because it's like a big old electrical pulse sort of thing. And this is pretty good, actually. Um, actually, I could just, like, delete the turret and damage these two. I think that's the way to go. We're going to split the codex, but it's going to be weakened. Oh yeah, that turret is gone. It takes one to know one. And everyone is flanked. Whoops, we we broke a supply crate. Alright. Just calm down, mate. Let's go for a lightning hands here. Nice. Cool. Alright. Finishing an easy enemy like that is great. And we've got awesome shots here because of that scope. 85 aim plus superior scope. Yeah. Yeah, so good. So we'll be able to clean up too with Caleb here. Goodbye. By the numbers. And we could pull in the codex here. It's not a great chance to do it. Still gotta deal with that other um that other Viper as well, which I could just hail of bullets. I think that's the play. Might even kill it. We'll see what happens. Nine damage. It's burning. It's dead. So now we can take shots at this thing. Okay, we'll take a couple of roughies. That'll be all we need. And then you can overwatch. You can reload and overwatch. And I'll get you to move into some actual cover. And the snack burns to death. He got what he deserved. We got those advent forklifts. Do you reckon they're robots or the people get in them? Are these sectoids forklift certified? We're getting into some real XCOM lore here. Deep XCOM lore. It's required of all sectoids to get a Okay, he's going to run back, is he? He decided he didn't like that tree. But yes, I think that sectoids might have a requirement of being forklift certified. Alright, so... Uh, we could only dash and actually aggro them. We know that we're not going to be aggroing much in the way of enemies because of the sit rep and everything, so we'll just sort of... Uh, go up here. If they're walking into us, they're going to be in a bit of trouble. Oh, looked good, but lightning reflexes. It's not really your fault. That actually looked really good, like the bullets were going to rip right through it. Alright, sectoid. Where are you going? Lamb. And the Archon's buggering off. He's decided after seeing the turret and everything get blown up, he's like, ah, I'll let everyone else deal with this. Alright, now he's doing his tracking shot, Mark. You gotta move whoever he tracks. He, he's tracking the sniper, which is... Yeah. 
You need to get out of his line of sight before it's too late. If you don't move your guy, basically what happens is he just gets a fresh shot on you that can't miss. I sure thing. don't think it can miss. But still, we can have a shot against this guy. It's pretty good. It's not. But still. Adjusting aim. Alright. So, he'll keep doing that as long as we have enemies within our view. So, we'll try to not do that. I'd love to get a flank on the sectoid. I actually, hang on. I can. And the way I'm going to do it and be in cover at the same time is move the robot and use bulwark. Hundy, this might even straight up kill the thing. Not quite. Alright, so the only thing we see here is the spectre. We could um, demolish his cover. I'm thinking I'll keep the grenades for... Hang on, we've got a stock here, don't we? Advanced hair trigger, advanced stock. So this is a kill. <laughs> see ya. I'll do. Didn't even need the stock. Actually, we're kind of sitting out in the open here. I'd love to suppress right now. There we go. No more tree. And actually, on that... We could totally just bring this guy in. Nice. I think that's it for your actions, though, isn't it? Hey, he's stunned. Cool. Alright, everything worked out. So now we've got a free shot against this guy. May as well reload whilst we can. And then possibly end him. Just gets shot by an energy weapon, doesn't even flinch. We're close too. Very surprised that Archon's not flying this way now. I'd like to deal with the Hunter alone because at 45 health... He's a little bit tougher than a sector pot at this point. And we can't cheese it with blue screens. Also, that grapple of his has no cooldown either. I guess we'll just reload where we can. And if I could chuck... Uh, I'd love to get the high ground just for a little bit of extra aim, but maybe we don't need it. I'm going to reload you here because you've only got a small magazine. Hey, superior stop. Like that. That's nice. And I suppose we just sort of uh, do this. It's cool. Moving. I'm still pretty, um, still pretty intrigued by the. Uh, here we go. We might fight him now. By the priest and his ability of um, his mind controlling the Overwatch guy. That's some. That's a pretty smart move. probably the smartest movie could have done to be honest now they're still bloody ages away so we'll keep on moving up on to and we'll keep Caleb out back because he loses the power of his sniper rifle if he moves we've still got the mimic beacon which I'm not actually sure whether it'll work against the hunter but we might have a cool experiment Although it's probably better to shoot twice if we can. Please tell me that's it. No. He's getting his gymnastics routine done. So where is the threshold to where they'll actually see us? It's like here-ish. Moving to 
So I still think, you know, despite having uh, tactical analysis sapping one action point if they decide to do this, I think Overwatch ambushing is still the best way. And also, no shooting supplies, please. Alright? Oh, everyone's choking. Did you blow up more supplies? No, box is fine somehow. Well, we've got Muncher on the Archon. Chokes all round. And I'm guessing the Codex will split. Uh, well, it hasn't, so maybe he's dead. Or I just had to wait until that happened. Yep. Cheeky little bastard. We might be able to nail both of those um, with the stock if we want. All right, let's see here. What's he gonna do? You gonna target the robot? Sniper? No, he's gonna target Devastator. So we'll be able to just take out both codices right here, right now with Death Knell. Uh, never mind. You can't actually see the other one. Interesting. Caleb might be able to take it, and this would be a good outcome if he did. Oh yeah, cool. That's how it's done. And we got a hair trigger. That's dirty. I like it. If we can just take both of these codexes, codices. Yep. Never run can pump bullets on the Archon. We can use our grapple attacks. Wait, am I still being tracked here? I think I am. Just in case I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> And there's no reason f not for me to gain, like, high ground, right? There we go. Let's just get a reload on you. Should be right. Sucks that you can't crit these things without having specialized rounds. Alright, I'm going to stick to full cover where I can. Uh, even though I haven't really been doing that that much. Could feed Jado this kill if he makes it. He's got a pretty likely chance to hit. Oh yeah, there he goes. Now he's going to have to run right at us. So, knowing that we can't get him with Overwatch, we'll just reload and hunker down. So he's going to start, he's a running, because he's the last guy left. That would just like, stop pulling yourself. Get out there. Getting nervous yet. That's flankable. Is that... No. Stomp, stomp, stomp. We'll reload, and then hunker down. Hunker down here. Because next turn we throw down. I go. Stepping off. Probably should have uh, reloaded Caleb first. That's okay. Got plenty of ammo here. So we'll just uh, hunker down with you. And you may as well just reload. And you hunker down. Oh, he's running away now. He's sitting right near, near those supplies, so I can't blow him up. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. There we go. We're throwing down. And now he's flanked. Unless he moves. Maybe. Well, for the moment anyway. I 
shall rectify that situation shortly. That's the elder's hunter. Nah, he's the just gonna stand there. A relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. And Bradford's like, hey, he's a pretty good sniper. Look out, he'll get ya. These are some good crits. And we can shred the last of it. They always get so mad when I bring the robots out. I mean, we may as well just go give him another shot, right? I'm not sure how the encouragement of, um... Hey, he's got bewildered now, so even better. Yeah, I'm not sure how the encouragement works on a robot like that. But, I'm glad. Let's get you in a full cover. We'll reload with this. And then everyone hunkers down. Covering. Except you aid protocol the robot. Then hunker down. Staying put. Position. Although we've got him on a silver platter there, no one can really get near him and actually see him. So we'll just stay here. Actually, I'm going to throw the mimic beacon just to see what happens. Wait, no, he's, he's immune to overwatches, so it's just protecting him. But these guys aren't. Three dudes, eh? That's some good damage. Alright, looks like we've got some killing to do. Oh, and he's going for the flank. Is he, is he going to get fooled by the Mimic Beacon, though? That's the question. Alright, so that's his first action, is it? Or is we he got tactical analysis? Dunno. Is he flashbanging the robot? The only thing on the line here is your planet, Commander. No pressure. Look, the way you're behaving, I honestly don't think I've got anything to worry about. Alright, Caleb, get him. Nice. Poison might take care of him. We've got a, another shot at grappling here, which we might take. Changing position. So we could whiplash this and lose six. We can get a couple of attacks on here. All right. So, what do I want to do here? Actually, I could bring Jado in, and how far can we get this grenade? Uh, not too far. We'll have to move up a little bit. Out. I'm going to leave Devastator out there for now, but I'd love to get... Oh, damn it. Actually, that'll take out the cover of that bloke, right? So maybe it's not a horrible idea. We'll see how this works out. Yeah, okay. That's a little bit better. You're not much for subtlety. Moving out. 97, 97, 96. Actually, you know what would be good? Oh, I've already used a missile. Five to six. If I could, like, wound that guy a little bit. Have I already used my sniper? Well, you've got the highest amount of health. Nice. 
Will I be able to just whiplash this? Nope. It's a freebie, so we still get another turn. We can justice this guy, that'll kill him. So that means we've only got the guy who's poisoned, which damage is going to be highly penalized. We are sitting in half cover against the hunter though, so... You know, it's not the most ideal of situations. Or we could just like, straight up, walk the robot next to him and shoot him. Yeah, we'll do this. Observe how it's done. We've got the uh, whiplash here. Nice. Semi nice. You're going to pay for that one, traitor. Ten to fourteen, uh, nine to ten. Oh, it's a shame. I mean, he's gonna flank me no matter what, so whatever. We'll just go here. Devastated, please don't get shot. His aim is 90, which is massive. So, I'm thinking he'll just, like, try to kill the robot? Watch this. Yep. Let's make this clean. Ouch. He's gonna try to intimidate him. You, me, KFC car park. He has no idea what KFC is. Alright. Time for a bit of revenge, wouldn't you think? This will remove the tree. And now we can, like, hail a bullet to him to seal the deal. Indeed. Good work, Mancho. Now, can I have some breathing room game? I guess I underestimated you, Commander. And here I thought the elders were just exaggerating. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Wonder what I'm that sure rifle is chambered again, in. Actually, probably not conventional bullets. Fight we put up today, Commander. MVP robot. Yep. 89 damage dealt. Really? 89? Well, if you say so, game. I'm not sure how it counts when you destroy the turret by dropping it. We can still deploy the spark in combat anyway, so it's fine. At least we know these chosen can be killed. Fifteen so, days. Billy's like, well great, now I have to repair it again. Thanks. Let's get heavy ordnance so we can double frost bomb. We've got implacable as well, it's nice. Oh wow, look at all these guys. They're not even tired or anything. In fact, their their will levels are actually pretty high. Everyone's feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, the robot got trashed, but that's fine. Alright, so we'll have Sokolova back in two days, and the supply drop done in two days. So that's good. Um, what I'm thinking we'll do now is, since we've got a bunch of supplies and uh, Illyrium from that, that's really good actually. Avenger plotting new course. If we can grab this, and then we grab the supplies, because I did say that I was going to mess around until the supply drops um, was ready to go, because then it gets added in bulk there. He's going to tell me I've gone bad. Watch this. He's going to say, wow, you went terrible. No, he's like, alright, look, I get it. Dead. And he just got revealed, so we've got a little bit of time to deal with him. But you're next, and we got to deal with this fairly soon. 
minor breakthrough. That sucks. Counter attack, fine, whatever. I've got a bunch of intel. Um, if I take 30 from that, I'll be sitting around 94 ish. And we're gonna take out that facility in three weeks. Maybe we'll leave that for now. Um, maybe I do this. I'm gonna use the intel that I have for expansion. So we'll get that, and then as soon as we got our research ready, we'd uh, we'll go and do that. All right, cool. I think yes, definitely we'll do powered armor next. Warlock lock weapon is done. Oh, it's so good. Now get these bloody supplies. I want new guns. Look at that. Oh, it's so much. Now supplies is going to be the only limiting factor here for now. Will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Disrupt rifle, excellent. And you go powered armor. I agree. That is an important 30 days, we've Commander. shaved a little bit off that, but you know, we're min-maxing here, so it, I'm feeling good, feeling big-brained. Alright. Cool. Let's go. Setting course for India. We've got a little bit of spend in cash, a bunch of alloys and Illyrium. We get some more intel after this. If we succeed. How's the robot doing? 10 out of... His, his will is 37. Ah, yes, it's because the hunter shot him and he's brutal, so he's got slightly less will, but that doesn't ever apply because... Because he's a robot and he can't, he can't actually get mind controlled. Everyone here is actually looking pretty good. We might go with the same team as last time, but there's going to be some upgrades here. Beam cannon. Go. And unfortunately, we have don't have enough for a Lyrium phase cannon for my robot, but still. We're feeling pretty good. I actually want to take a look at the list for a second just to see. Okay, so Jasper and Carla are back, which is great news, actually. So is Miranda. Cuzzy's uh, back in 30 hours, and Becker is back in three days. Alright, so... What I might do is we'll bring... We've got three mages now, two of them are specialists, so I'll send the specialist, uh, maybe Jason again. Or oh, maybe Becca this time, so we got, so we can develop the bond between... Actually, no, they're bonded alright. Maybe I'll just send Muncher again, and then we can go assault the Assassin, because that's kind of getting out of hand. We've also got Disco back, which is good, but... I think we'll go same cruise again. Although, would I want a Reaper on this? Tell you what, I wouldn't mind having a Reaper. Since we're doing a rescue from Advent Vehicle, um, the mobility here would probably be slightly better. And if... Do I have a laser sight? No, but I've got a scope which I can... I think this has got a superior scope already, doesn't it? Advanced, okay. So we're pretty much on par. Do we want to go double skirmishes again? I mean, why not? Yeah, we'll, we'll just go same teams. This team worked out well last time, and uh, I think we'll just do it again. So, Operation Crypt Breaker next time. Rescue VIP from Advent Vehicle. Difficult mission. Let's not blow up the vehicle before we get there, please. Thank you very much for watching, guys.